Hello everyone. In today's class, we will go for the corporate citizenship models. So in Unit Five, we have done with the good corporate citizenship and the transparency. Here, I am not going to explain in detail. So let's see in brief. So what is corporate citizenship? So corporate citizenship is the combination of these three aspects. Okay, so that is financial performance reporting, that is social performance reporting, environmental performance reporting. So these three is treated as the bottom line, okay, triple bottom line. So financial performance and its reporting at the end of the financial year, you will get the financial statements, balance sheet and profit and loss account, fund flow statement, cash flow statement, and auditor's report, director's report. There you can get the information social performance and the reporting so this one you will get this csr report and the environmental performance and reporting this one you will get in the statement of environmental accounting so the combination of these three is treated as the process of the corporate citizenship and here is the outcome so social progress will be there because of these three activities the better environment the society will get so because of these three activities and the wealth creation is also there. Fine. So let's go for the models of the corporate citizenship. The corporate citizenship is treated as the strategic philosophy. And strategic philosophy has the direct relationship with the outcomes with its stakeholders and the corporate social responsibility. So let's understand one by one. The corporate citizenship has the direct relationship with its stakeholders. The employees, investors, customers, community, government, environment are the people who are directly or indirectly related to the person. Here people world doesn't mean only living being, even it's the society and the environment. Correct? So because of the corporate citizenship, the betterment of these all stakeholders are there. fine the corporate citizenship will directly affect the outcomes so outcomes of the business is the financial performance and it's a commitment and the trust and the reputation so this outcome also affect the stakeholders correct so financial performance affect its investors commitment will affect its customers trust and reputation will affect its community and the customers and even the government and the environment. So even the outcomes will affect the corporate social responsibility. Here achieving the corporate citizenship responsibility is by the corporate social responsibility activities or we can say the corporate social responsibility is also one of the part of the corporate citizenship responsibility. Here the economic, legal, ethical and philanthropic social responsibilities this one we have already studied under the csr approach right we'll go for the generic principles of the corporate citizenship so this one is completed under the unit fire itself to achieve the good corporate citizenship so these all principles should be achieved once again making the differences in the wider society the corporate citizenship responsibilities will make the differences in the wider society through CSR activities. Maybe related to the environmental related activities like uh, plantations and related to the health camps and related to the pure water supplies likewise. Stakeholders empowerment. So this corporate citizenship responsibility should empower the stakeholders. Correct? So, empowering stakeholders means nothing but giving or satisfying their objectives. So, what are the objective of the stakeholders? Objective of the stakeholders are the profitability, security and the liquidity. In other words, we can say wealth maximization and profit maximization. Correct? So, providing these all things is one of the responsibility of the company. Through that, it can achieve the objective of the corporate citizenship. Correct? The accountability, so accountability is nothing but capacity to perform or fulfill its corporate citizenship responsibility. 
and then transparency transparency is completed in the previous class transparency is nothing but the material information should be provided transparently for each and everyone sustainable capitalism so what is sustainable capitalism we have completed the sustainable development correct here sustainable capitalism means optimally utilizing the capitals and keeping that capitals for the future purposes then sharing the responsibility here as a normal citizen we to have some of the responsibility correct in the same way as a artificial person the company also has some responsibilities correct the company is also treated as artificial citizen and that's why company also has some of the responsibility so with the normal citizens as artificial person the company also shares the social responsibility activities then comes the triple bottom line so what is triple bottom line so this one we have already studied here itself correct here the financial performance reporting social performance reporting and environmental performance reporting so this is treated as the triple bottom line that should be achieved that is what the principle of the corporate citizenship then long term oriented the objective of the company is definitely long term oriented corporate citizenship responsibilities activities what we are doing that should be a long term objective for example corporate social responsibility activities that has the long term objective retaining its employees that has the long term objective right then dialogues so these dialogues are related to the vision mission and some of the captions of the companies then stakeholders inclusion so stakeholders are the person or the people who are directly or indirectly related to the company correct so for each and every decisions they should take the feedback from its stakeholders so in each decision of the company stakeholders inclusion should be there then communication from the higher level to the lower level from the debt holder to the ownership funds the communication should be a proper correct then which is related to the engagement so engagement of its human resources engagement of its capital engagement of its uh, machineries engagement of the land so each and everything should be a uh, optimum the optimum engagement should be there then only they will get the optimum output so that is also one of the principle under the corporate citizenship so corporate citizenship focus on these the three aspects social impact economic impact and the environmental impact okay so social impact is what the company is given return to the society and what the company is got from the society or what the company is used from the society then economic impact the economic impact is nothing but economy of the company it is directly related to the expenses of the company so to achieve the corporate citizenship responsibilities there is some expenses we cannot spend more on these responsibilities and even we cannot spend less on these responsibilities so these expenses should be a optimum one even it should convince the environment and the society and even it should convince the investors and the other stakeholders correct then environmental effect environmental impact is nothing but what the company is got from the environment and what the company is giving back to the environment okay fine so this is the focus of the corporate citizenship in simple corporate citizenship is nothing but the responsibility of the company as a artificial citizen okay in business entity concept we say the business and the businessman is different and the company is the artificial judicial person without flesh and blood since as per the law the company is treated as the person it is also treated as the citizen as a citizen for a company there are some responsibilities as like a normal citizen so that is what corporate citizenship that's it for today's class in coming classes we are going to speak about the corporate excellence which is the part of the corporate citizenship